Hector's dolphins are one of the smallest dolphin species, typically measures between 1.2 and 1.7 meters in length and can weigh up to 50 kilograms. Maui's dolphin, a subspecies of Hector's dolphin, has a very limited range, restricted to off the west coast of the North Island. Hector's dolphins live in small pods that vary in size, sometimes a pod of two to three individuals may be seen, but the whole pod will come together periodically for about an hour of socializing in which case 20 individuals or more may be seen. Hector's dolphins are carnivores. They usually feed in shallow waters with sandy bottom, feed primarily on marine snails and crustaceans. Due to their diet, their teeth have become flattened, which allows them to crush their prey. A female Hector's dolphin will have her first calf at about five to nine years old and will have a calf every two to four years afterwards. She will have about five calves in her lifetime given Hector's dolphins only live to be in their mid-twenties. All this results in a slow reproductive rate meaning Hector's dolphins are more vulnerable to decline than other dolphin species. Hector's dolphins are often caught in commercial and recreational fisheries across the area of its habitat, being entangled in gillnets, which pose a serious threat to this animal's population. Additionally, they are exposed to pollution, maritime traffic, and alterations to their coastal habitat. The Hector's dolphin that is found across the South Island coastline is considered endangered by the IUCN Red List as its population has continued to decline significantly. The genetically distinct Hector's dolphin found in Queen Charlotte Sounds has yet to be assessed by the IUCN, but as its population only numbers 30 to 35 individuals it would likely be considered critically endangered under the IUCN Red List. Raising awareness about the importance of the Hector's dolphin and their role in the ecosystem is crucial. Public support and advocacy can lead to stronger conservation policies. Simple actions such as practicing responsible boating, reducing pollution, and supporting organizations dedicated to marine conservation are crucial in helping Hector's dolphins thrive in the Marlborough Sounds. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you in the next adventure.